Hello friends, you are watching data structures using C. All the videos are brought to you by Angpro Training from Angpro Technologies. Friends, in this video I am going to explain you the AVL tree, uh, why it is called AVL tree and what is there in AVL tree. It is one of the uh, kinds of binary search tree. Uh, before watching this video, please go and watch our uh, binary search tree videos there are two or three videos in that and uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the AVL tree why it is used why it is invented everything right so before learning that let me explain you the problem with binary search tree say suppose I want to search for an element when it is balanced so this tree is balanced now. How you can call this tree is balanced? Because there is two children for every node in this tree. So it is balanced. If I want to search an element, say 30, first I'll compare with this. 30 is less than, so obviously I go here by ignoring almost half the tree. Right? And now uh, one comparison is done. Now I'll compare 30 with 20. So 30 is more than 20. So obviously I go here left of the tree so the second comparison is done here and I'll compare 30 with 30 now my element has found this is the third comparison right so within just three comparison I got my element so that is when it is useful when the tree is balanced that means every node has got two children so this is level 1 I mean level 0 level 1 and level 2 so there are just three levels so I found the element in three comparisons. Every time I'll successful finding the element by performing the total number of comparisons same as uh, the number of levels. Right? So if if I'm doing so my my time complexity will be log n2. Right? So this is when the tree is balanced. Say suppose the tree is this. Right? So there may be a situation where you want to insert 80 and then 60 then 40, then 20 and 10. So this is also a binary search tree, but it is not balanced. Balanced means every node has not got two children, right? But still it is binary search tree. If I want to search an element in this unbalanced binary search tree, time complexity of uh, searching the element will be big O of n. That means my total number of comparisons will equal to the total number of elements in this situation. Say suppose I want to search for 10, come here, compare with 80, compare with 60, compare with 40, compare with 10, 20 and compare with 10. For any element, the total number of comparisons will equal to the total number of elements until that element, right? So this is very, this will take too much of time when the tree is not balanced in the case of searching, right? So to avoid this problem, we have introduced the AVL tree, right? So AVL tree is a self-balanced binary search tree. That is, an AVL tree is also a binary search tree, but it is balanced tree, right? A binary tree is said to be balanced if the difference between the heights of left and right subtree of every node in the tree is either minus one, zero, or plus one. Explain what is that? Every node maintains an extra information known as balance factor, which should be either minus one, zero, or plus one. Balance factor is equal to height of left subtree minus height of right subtree. Right? So I'll explain uh, that in a moment. So AVL tree was introduced in the year 1962 by Andelson, Welsky, and Landis. That is why it is called A V L tree. So these are the people responsible for invention of AVL tree. So now let's uh, look at the examples of AVL tree. So here this is this is called the AVL tree, perfect AVL tree. So why it is called AVL tree? Let us find out that. So this is the level 0. This is the level 1 and this is the level 2. Okay. Let us find out the height of left subtree. So for this node, what is the height of left subtree? The height of left subtree is 2, right? The height of left subtree is 2 minus. What is the height of right subtree? It is also 2 because there is two levels, 1 and 2, right? So then 
find out the difference between left subtree and right subtree. 2 minus 2 is 0. So the balance factor of this node is 0. So I have mentioned, so let us go to previous slide. So I will tree, uh, the, if the difference between heights of left and right subtree of every node in the tree should be minus 1 or 0 or plus 1, right? So in this case we have found it is 0. Let us find the balance. Let us find the balance factor of this node. The height of left subtree is 1, height of right subtree is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. So this is also perfectly uh, AVL tree. So here it is 0, 0. 0 minus 0 is 0 and 0. So what about this? The height of left subtree is 1, height of right subtree is 0. 1 minus 0 is 1. So it is look perfectly fine. So this is AVL tree. Next. What about this? The height uh, for this node, height of left subtree is 1, 2 and 3. Okay. Height of right subtree is 1, 2 and 3. So 3 minus 3 is 0. Right. What about this? Height of left subtree is 1 and 2. Minus 1. So 2 minus 1 is 0. So this is also valid. Next. Height of left subtree is 0. Right subtree is minus 1. So minus 1. This is 0. This is also 0. So every time you will just assign 0 for leaf nodes. It's obviously 0, right? So what about this? Uh, height of left subtree is 1 and 2 minus 1 that is 1 here it is 1 and 1 1 minus 1 is 0 here it is also 0 so the balance factor of every node is either 0 or 1 or minus 1 so this is also perfect AVL tree so what about this let's find out for this height of left subtree is 1 2 and 3 height of right subtree is just 1 so 3 minus 1 is 2 so now this has got balance factor 2 and the, it is not called as AVL tree because it is not balanced the balance factor should be 1 or minus 1 or 0 but it has got 2 this is not the valid AVL tree I hope you understood the introduction of AVL tree in the next class we will perform the operations on AVL tree how we can convert the normal binary search tree which is unbalanced to AVL tree and the operations and all. Well friends, that's it for the class. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube, like our page on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and join our group on LinkedIn. Thank you.